everyone. This is Avni Computer Tuition Classes. Coursework is Research Methodology in Natural Sciences, Assignment 6, Solution. So the first question is, based on the following information, answer the question 1 to 5. Suppose you have measured the concentration of substance in a solution by taking 25 samples from different parts of liquid and have obtained the following data. The figure are in ppm. So these are the some samples. If you are to report the result in a paper, how will you specify the measured value? Round to four decimal places. So first to calculate the mean. The solution is first n is equal to 25. Summation x is equal to sum of all this samples value. Summation of x is equal to 37.74 mean equal to summation of x divided by n 37.74 divided by 25. So mean is 1.5096. So accepted range is this and uh, we get the mean value 1.5096. Then next calculate the error bar. So, for calculating the error bar, first we will find out the standard deviation because the stand, standard error equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n. So, standard deviation equal to square root of summation xi minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1. Summation of xi minus x bar whole square. Then first value uh, we will calculate like 1.56 minus 1.5096 is the 0 0.0504 square. Then calculate the remaining all this value like this. Then taking the square of all these values. We will get 0 0.0671. Now calculate standard deviation equal to square root of 0 0.0671 divided by 24. 24 means 25 minus 1. n minus 1, 25 minus 1, we will get 24. Then square root of 0 0.00275 equal to 0 0.05286. This is the standard deviation. Now Standard error equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n 0 0.05286 divided by 5 equal to 0 0.010572. Means standard error equal to 0 0.0106. The range is this. Then Define a range in which the true value of the concentration must lie with 95% of probability round two decimal places. The range is x to y. x range mu minus sigma, y range mu plus sigma. So the approximately 95% of population lie within 1.96 standard deviation of mu. That is 1.5096 plus minus 1.96 se 1.96 into 0 0.0106 the uh, standard error is this then equal to 0 0.020776 that means 0 0.0208 now addition of this value we get 1.5304 then minus 1.4 Taking the subtraction, we will get 1.4888. X is equal to 1.48, Y is equal to 1.53. So, accepted answer is in this range. With what confidence level can you state that the actual value lie in the range 1.5 ppm to the 1.5192 ppm around two decimal places? Z is equal to my, uh, bar x minus mu sigma divided by square root of n value lie in the range 1.5 ppm to 1.5192 ppm. 1.5192 minus 
1.5096 and 1.5 minus 1.5096 we will get 0 0.0096 minus 0 0.0096 means bar x mean value 1.5096 this is the mean value standard error 0 0.0109 and uh, we will calculate in a different way. So, we will get the uh, different uh, standard error value. So, here the value is 0 0.01094 also. Sigma divided by square root of n x bar minus mu equal to plus minus 0 0.0096. Z equal to 0 0.0096 divided by 0 0.011. Uh, 0 0.1, sorry, Z equal to 0. 0 0.0096 divided by 0 0.01094 z score equal to 0 0.8775 to calculate the z value here 0 0.8 and here 0 0.07 will get the 8078 Z score 0 0.8775 to calculate the Z value again we will see the value is 0 0.8775 0 0.8 and 0 0.775 that means 0 0.07 so we will get 8078 0.8078 then 0 0.8078 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.3078 into 2, 0 0.6156, that means the 61%, that is the 61.56%, the range is this. Now, the next question, next new question, a scientist could take only 10 measures on the molecular weight of a new compound and the measured value we are 41.8 like this values what is the standard error in mean around two decimal places so first to calculate n is equal to 10 we have summation of x is equal to this summation of x divided by n equal to 45.31 that means this is the mean value Standard deviation equal to square root of summation x i minus bar x whole square divided by n minus 1. So we will get uh, first uh, we will find x i minus x bar whole square. So we will get this value. Standard deviation equal to square root of 67.3 divided by 9 equal to square root of 7.47 equal to 2.73 standard error equal to sigma divided by square root of n 2.73 divided by square root of 10 we will get 0 0.8649 okay so here we will get the standard error in mean is 0 0.8649 now do the data provide sufficient evidence to say that the compound molecular weight is less than 46.5 where the sufficient evidence implies that the probability that the statement is wrong is less than 0 0.01 or 1 percent okay so mu is equal to 46.5 here 46.5 T is equal to minus x uh, bar x minus mu divided by sigma divided by square root of n mean value 45.31 this is then t is equal to 45.31 minus 46.5 divided by 0 0.8649 equal to minus 1.1 one nine minus one point one nine divided by zero point eight six four nine equal to minus one point three seven 
it it is also t is equal to minus one point three eight uh, value is uh, one point three seven or three eight maybe the degree of freedom is nine nine means ten minus one is nine here the value is ten so the degree of freedom is now nine significance level one percent that is the zero point zero one so here we see here the t table degree of freedom is nine and one percent that means zero point zero one so we get three point two five zero zero so the values is lie lie between minus three point two five zero and three point two five five and uh, uh, plus three point two five five also so uh, we do not have sufficient evidence to make that claim answer is no the probability of the getting t value is less than now the next question suppose you have detected a, a systematic error in your experiment what step would you take to eliminate it use two or more different technique to make the same measurement check the calibration of the instrument you are using next an error bar around a measured value implies the probability that actual value lies within the error bar is 0.683 the standard error of the mean is standard deviation of the reading obtained divided by the square root of the number of data points the standard deviation of the distribution of the mean values if one did the experiment repeatedly taking the same number of data points each time last question a bio scientist only can take six observation for his measurement as the restriction of the lifetime of the bacteria he is working with in his case how can one define the confidence level he can define the confidence level using t distribution okay. thank you